Sextant celestial navigation is a part of our history. It cannot be downplayed how vital celestial navigation has always been. So here is how to use celestial navigation on a flat earth. We of course start with a sextant, which we can use to measure the angle from the horizon to the star. Then we calculate the distance using 1 degree per 69 miles, or 1 degree per 111 kilometers. Then it's time to use a map to triangulate our position. Oh right, hold up. We need to apply a right angle triangle with the angle and distance measurement, because that is a requirement on a flat earth. We also cannot show an example of how celestial navigation works, because there doesn't exist any flat earth world map. Oh no, what do we do? We just need to show that celestial navigation doesn't work on a globe, and that will prove the flat earth. So now we just draw a globe under the flat earth triangle method, and voila. The sextant proves globe earth is impossible. So now, I will tell you how celestial navigation works on a globe. First, we need to calculate 69 miles or 111 kilometers per degree. Understand that the light from all stars will reach Earth in parallel lines. This is because the stars are so extremely far away that there is practically zero angular difference on any location on Earth. The only thing that changes when we are on different locations on Earth is our own rotation relative to the stars. We use very simple trigonometry. That tells us that if a star is x degrees down from being straight up, then the star would be straight under the location x degrees away on the globe. So we get that 1 degree on the globe Earth is approximately 69 miles or 111 kilometers. So already, we have something that cannot be found on the flat Earth. The method to obtain the distance from the angle we observe the star. Now, to perform triangulation, we simply need the distance to three locations, and we can then use any map with working distances to determine our position on Earth. We also don't have to go through any of the previous trigonometry besides triangulation in the future, because we have the 69 miles or 111 kilometers per degree that fits perfectly with the globe model. No triangles required. So to look back to the flat earth method, it uses 69 miles or 111 kilometers per degree, which we can observe in reality and which can easily be determined from the globe. Flat earthers will heavily use the formula, but completely neglect that it in no way fits their model. Then it introduces a right angle triangle, where the only relevant numbers are the degrees that we already measured and the distance that we already calculated with a formula that only works on a globe. It is used for nothing because flat earthers know that if they tried to determine the altitude of that star, they would be met with the very same altitudes that they would find for each and every celestial object, and it will change a lot depending on the viewing angle. This is why flat earthers are heavily insistent on the sun, moon, planets, and stars being completely non physical so they never have to give them an exact location or altitude. Then it states that we should use triangulation to determine the location, even though there exists no working flat earth world map, and finally flat earthers determine that celestial navigation is impossible on a globe. So, that is flat earth celestial navigation, or lack thereof. Now on to the sextant, which is in the title of this video. The sextant measures an angle, and that is all the sextant does. On the ideal representation of a flat earth, the horizon will always be completely level with the observer. This is not what we perceive in reality though. We can determine that the horizon lowers with altitude, but this is very hard to detect without a proper way to determine true level. Looking at nautical almanacs, we see the included elevation correction charts, which are used to correct for both refraction and the horizon dip. The amount needed to correct is usually extremely tiny, so even on a globe Earth without this correction chart, we would only be off by roughly 0.04 degrees, which is less than 3 miles when triangulating. So to sum up, if you believe the earth is flat, and that this is the year of the sextant, you have been fooled by flat earthers that have no idea what they are doing. So I hope you learned something today. Flat earthers cannot do math or trigonometry, and they don't know anything about their flat earth or the globe earth. 